So I could smell that some things might be wrong here. And based on your experience, whenever you feel that way, it motivates you to uh, go deeper. Hello everyone, welcome to the Hackerish YouTube channel. You may recall from a tweet that I published, I found a vulnerability in a web application that was hosted on the cloud. If you're not a follower on Twitter, then what are you waiting for? Just go ahead and follow me there. Um, today I'm going to share with you another finding that I recently found on a web application and hopefully you will learn something new. So the application is uh, written in Java Enterprise Edition because of what I found in the URL ends with iFace which is a technology used uh, in the Java Enterprise Edition world and based also on the name of the cookie. It was J Session ID. So as we do in every web application pen test, we start with exploring the features as a normal user. I found that pretty much all the features were using the same endpoint. It was like slash app slash endpoint one with a post request containing uh, I would say about 40 parameters at a time. And it was really frustrating because those parameter names were a bit cryptic. I didn't know what each parameter meant. So I started fuzzing them to see if the application behaves in a different way. And uh, to my surprise, it was not stable. So if I send some fuzzing payloads, using either the uh, burp scanner or the intruder, I would receive inconsistent results. So time to manual work. Based on the manual testing, there were some features which were using different endpoints. And I also made some observations. The application returns a cookie with server X and then uh, another one with server X plus one once you create a new session. So this hints that there are there's some kind of load balancer in the front or a proxy and then it sends the requests to the subsequent servers which i believe there were two for those new endpoints or new features that did not use the old one with a lot of parameters and cryptic ones examples like the reset password of user in the user interface i could see that there was the uh, username there in an input field which was disabled. So the easiest way would be to just enable that, right click and change the HTML code and then send the form. But it turns out that the server does not take it into consideration. So I tested this and that and try to explore more until I found a small text in the user interface. And this text was actually a download link. So once you hover over it and click on the link, it actually downloads a template. When you hover over that link, it was like a, a string that ends in equals. So that's like a parameter name and then the path to that template. So immediately you start thinking about local file inclusion or path traversal vulnerabilities. That's what I did next. So I inserted a bunch of uh, local file inclusion payloads like dot dot slash dot dot slash etc until etsy slash pass wd but uh, I didn't find anything. So I said hey maybe we could like access the uh, manager web page right which is typically on slash manager slash HTML uh, for, for Tomcat, but it didn't work. And for some reason, when I was testing slash HC slash pass WD, the request timed out. But if I tested uh, slash host name instead of slash pass WD, it would work. So there was a WAF in the front. And then after that, we have the Apache server. And then we have a bunch of uh, application servers or one application server with two backend servers. So I could smell that some things might be wrong here. And based on your experience, whenever you feel that way, it motivates you to uh, go deeper. So I said, hmm, this is a Java Enterprise Edition application. And I know that every project has a known configuration file that is sitting under slash web dash inf slash web dot xml that defines many attributes of the application. 
So I said to myself, well, let's try with this folder. I know that it exists. So it's just a matter of knowing how many hops I need to use. So I tried dot dot slash web dash inf slash web dot XML and then prefixed with another dot dot slash another dot dot slash and um, it didn't work and I wasn't sure why so I retried once again and at a certain point after three dot dot slashes it worked and I said to myself wait why it didn't work in the first time it turns out that when I rep played the request, there's 50% chance that the request would work or not. And now I remembered, oh, um, the cookie says there are two servers, so I think that the first one is vulnerable, the second one is not. Um, so I uh, tried to read that file and see what inside it. There were other configuration files, I read them as well, and um, I didn't find anything really interesting. So I said, well, maybe we can escape outside the web route. But whenever I tried to use additional dot dot slashes, it didn't work. I, it, the Apache server returned a 404 error. Uh, I tried to load a picture, for example, to have a benchmark of the different responses based on the type of files, because I thought that XML files worked well, but other file types didn't work. When I loaded a publicly available uh, image in the website, uh, it didn't work. So from there, I said, well, um, I cannot load any arbitrary files, but just XML file. Well, that's a bummer. Can I read something else? And next day, I tried to directly access the web-inf file and it worked. Wait a minute. It's not a path traversal vulnerability. It's actually just direct access to folders. I said to myself, well, if I have access to slash app slash web dash inf slash web dot XML, I might as well have access to slash app to slash web dot inf slash web dot XML since all the web applications potentially that exist on that web server or application server are Java Enterprise Edition applications. So I started brute forcing that part of the path. Unfortunately, I didn't find anything. In your opinion, um, do you have any ideas how to escalate this? And if not, how would you rate this? Because I personally rated it as a uh, medium 4.3, I guess, uh, because it required authentication to access the application. And so, because we could not read arbitrary files on the system, the confidentiality part is limited. Uh, integrity and availability are not affected, so that's uh, none and none. So that leaves us with a score of um, medium. So let me know in the comments, how would you rate it and uh, how would you escalate it? Until next time, stay curious, keep learning, and go find some bugs.